In today's video, I'm going to show you how I turned a small walk-in storage space into an activity center for my kids. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the little red button in the corner for more high quality builds and reviews. Let's get started. First, I needed to measure the dimensions of the space I'll be working with. Then, it was off to the shop to start recording my measurements. Once I had all my measurements, I was ready to start cutting the pieces for the frame of the entryway. I used my miter saw at a 45 degree angle to attach the corners of the frame. I'll be staining the pieces later, so I needed to give them a good sanding. I increased the grid in increments from 80 to 240 to give the wood an even finish for my stain. Once the frame was sanded, I did a test run to make sure everything fit. I noticed there was a gap where the frame met the floor trim, so I decided to cut out notches for the frame. I had a utility knife and chisel on hand, so my plan was to score the outline of the notch and chisel out the wood. During my projects, there's always a part I like to call the X factor. This is a part of the project that I didn't initially anticipate being difficult or overly time consuming. This was definitely the X factor portion of the project. I ended up wasting a lot of time and energy and even a chisel. I would definitely recommend investing in an oscillating tool meant for projects like this. It just wasn't worth the effort. Despite the process taking several years, it actually worked out pretty well in the end. Now that the frame was done, I needed to measure the dimensions of the center for the divide I was making. I then cut and sanded the piece to get it ready for staining later. I'm using my hand planer to give the piece angled edges, which I'll be sanding later to get a smooth, rounded look. Once the centerpiece was sanded, it was ready to be placed. Next, I needed to measure and cut the pieces for the side panel. I used my hand planer again on the side panels to give them a similar rounded finish. Then, it was on to more sanding. I made a last minute decision to build a small rounded ledge for the window area. I've been wanting to try out my new pocket hold jig and I thought this would be the perfect project for it. Check out the description for links. The jig allows me to create angled screw holes to easily attach pieces to the frame and the wall. Once I had all my pieces prepped and ready to go, it was time to apply my stain and finish. I wanted a lighter finish that accentuated the wood, so I went with Golden Pecan. I ended up applying about two coats of stain because I didn't want the color to be too saturated. Then it was time to apply a clear coat finish and sealer. After the finish had set, it was finally time to install the entryway. I used some caulk to cover the small gaps from my chiseling and wiped away the excess. Then it was on to attaching the middle piece and the side panels. I glued them together before attaching so that the installation would be a little easier, but I'll be adding screws later for extra stability. After that, I was done. I'm really happy with how this project turned out and my kids love it. 
It's a great way to make a boring, unused space into a fun activity center. I had some extra strip lights around, and I thought they could add a cool look to the project. I'm using a portable charger to power the light so no cords will get in the way. Thanks so much for watching guys, and if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more high quality DIY videos and reviews at Humble Hands.